There are the drawers filing away decades of Eugene Lee's designs, the binders for new projects, and the self-made boxes holding the old ones. Yeah, that is it. Uh. Models, memorabilia, and memories are piled high around Lee. He's the famed and much awarded set designer behind a host of Broadway shows, Saturday Night Live, and now The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> what about The Tonight Show? I saw your your drawer there. Ah, uh, The Tonight Show, yes. Well, I like doing that. Jimmy's a nice kid. Recently, my WGBH radio colleague Bob C. and I ventured to Providence to see Lee at his home and studio. For Bob, it was a reunion since they worked together in theater decades ago. For me, it was a whirlwind tour with the restless, self-deprecating, and infectiously entertaining design master. So how many of these boxes do you have? Hundreds, hundreds. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saving them. They'll probably, someone will toss them all out eventually. I go to Los Angeles tomorrow to deal with this. Uh, uh, a little pilot uh, for Maya Rudolph, a little primetime pilot. I went out a few weeks ago and found a studio I liked at Universal. I picked it because it has a huge swimming pool there. <laughs> has the cover on, hasn't been opened in 25 years. Uh -huh. And they said, we can't open it. We're very scared of it. You know, they're very scared of, 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 of basements in Los Angeles. <laughs> Inside his elaborately decorated home, filled with collections of all kinds, Lee reminisces. His big break, creating the enduring design for Saturday Night Live, was derived from his love of New York's grimier side. You know, New York at the time was really not in good shape. Subway cars were graffitied over, uh, the Radio City Music Hall was empty, uh, you know, um, 42nd Street was filled with movie theaters and porn theaters. I kind of like that myself. <laughs> I'm, that Disney stuff doesn't don't work with me. But, but anyway, so we use re real materials, right. real brick, real, I like real things. Which he also used in his 1979 design of Sweeney Todd, which won Lee the second of his three Tonys. Oh, we took a lot of pieces from Sweeney Todd from here. In fact, most of Sweeney Todd came from, you know, crumbling foundries around the state, you know, because uh, these, these real items, <laughs> goes without saying, were very heavy, you know. <laughs> My favorite stagehands remind me of this from time to time. Lee says his design sensibility generally rises from the script itself. In Wicked, for which he won his third Tony, he was inspired by the book's clock motif. I started looking at gears and stuff. It's like a real item, you know? I mean, they're turning at different speeds. They're you know, and then, uh, you know, we took a few clocks and did bad things to them. They always say I tossed it down the stairs, but I don't know if it's true. But I, whatever I did, I did really bad things to the clocks. They never worked again. And then uh, we took the gears and um, hot glued them into the model initially just to see how we liked them. And then, I don't know, we liked them and we kept them. To his own chagrin, Lee says his home also sets the stage. If you go to the kitchen, you occasionally, uh, if you start turning over dishes down in the bottom of the pile someplace, you see a little red dot or something, a little sticker. Kind of means it got on a set, you know? So that, and that's for so your own that was, Well, that was just so it wouldn't get lost at the time. So it, hopefully it came back to you at the end. I always say I'll never loan anything, but then, of course, I, I instantly break my own rule. <laughs> At 75, Lee says with three musicals and five plays in the works, not to mention his ongoing television projects and relationship with Trinity Repertory Company in Providence, he's busier than ever. And ever loyal, when Saturday Night Live creator Lorne Michaels took the helm of Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show, he turned once again to Lee. I asked him what, what he wanted at the time, and uh, he's, he, he, he said he thought he should be all again. And I thought, that's nice, all again is nice. Because Jimmy always wears a nice suit and tie. I mean, he's a good-looking kid, like him. And uh, so we try, in the case of Jimmy's set, we just tried to make it elegant and tried to make the proportions very elegant. Lauren Michaels is also the reason Lee is still working, pointing out that SNL's announcer is close to 100 and its lighting designer is 90. Michaels won't let him retire. I'm just a baby. I think it's better to be be uh, busy. Uh, you know, I, I probably sometimes should say no to things. I, I tend, but I tend to say yes more than no. And uh, I usually, I try to make it work out. Usually it works out somehow.